understand. What is this? How did this make sense? How did I end up in a place like this? Everything was normal not so long ago. What? What exactly is that thing? I didn't see it clearly. Something tells me that's for the better. I... I can't get its screams out of my head. It wasn't the only one. There are more. Okay. I'm not safe. I gotta get Maybe. out of this place. I know. I, I don't feel safe either, bro. <laughs> Let's go through this together, my dude. We're not alone, so we got each other. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Teamwork. <laughs> I've been running for some time now. At least I should have, since my legs are hurting like heck. I look around for a room to catch my breath. It would be too dangerous to stay in the hallway. I get in one of the rooms after checking it, it after checking if it's safe or not. Nothing inside other than a few loose junk scattered in the ground. Just like the room I entered before. Hmm. I rest my back on one of the walls and slowly lean down to sit. Okay. I still don't know what to think. I put my head between my palms and try not to think about this whole mess. At least for a bit, that is. How did this even start? Good question. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good question. Oh, when, when? <gasps> oh, VA Dope. presents. Damn, that was just the beginning? That's not said. Oh, yeah. Sh shoot, baby. We got some, uh, some sort of a like prologue looking um, words there. I don't like rainy days. They pluck my wonderful sunset here. Oh, okay. Got the background and everything. Okay, this kind of reminds me of um, RPG Maker. Huh. Ugh. While I curse to the weather, I feel a presence moving towards me. Uh oh. Oh! Hello, Sayori! <laughs> it's Cinnabon. Yeah, it's a cinnamon bun. Hey, the movie's ready. Let's go up to the front, she says with a cheerful voice. Oh, alright. I'll be there in a sec. I reply. After nodding, she leaves. Yeah, we're gonna watch a movie today. Hmm. I wonder what kind of movies. Definitely not uh, No Way Home or <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Oh, that's not even so that's not even out yet. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not even out because it's next year. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sayori so came, came up with the idea, and everyone immediately accepted it. So we all plan to watch one. After a few other club activities, which will make us stay in the school for longer than we normally do. We'll probably be the only ones at school when the movie ends. But hey, a movie is a movie, so... Oh, that doesn't sound suspicious at all. Definitely not suspicious, as long as it's, you know, long, an hour long. Although, to avoid conflict about what movie to watch, we just agreed on Sayori choosing one. We didn't say what movie she chose yet, so let's see it. Get up from my chair and take a seat by the front desk so I can more easily see the smart board. Oh, wow. Jacob presses the play button on the board and then she takes a seat herself. Who would have thought school smart boards could be really convenient to watch movies? I mean, it's, it's a giant, it's a giant screen. <laughs> yeah, giant screen and plus they don't have to go to the cinemas to it, so I guess you can bring it in the classroom, your home, your room. Neat. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, now you're turning yourself. Now you have yourself a uh, personal cinema, so it's a win-win. Big and loud. We're more than an hour into the movie, and it's only halfway done. Sayori chose a pretty lengthy movie. At least it's an entertaining one. Oh, she has good taste. Time. Yeah, good taste. <laughs> I checked the time and realized that our club meeting would have ended about 10 minutes ago, but everyone wanted to keep watching the movie, so we're still here. The movie is very- well, okay, I caught that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, considering that we cannot backtrack what we can read or I know, so no going forward. back, only forward. Like a shark. Yeah. Yep. Go forward, no going back, so don't blink. Kind of. He can blink. <laughs> 
my thoughts caught, get cut off by the smart board going black. What happened? I have no idea. She replies, as clueless as the rest of us. Did that piece of junk break on us? <laughs> Let me take a closer look. Monica gets close to the board and begins pressing its buttons. It doesn't react. Normally, it would make some beep noises when you press them. I feel like there's no power going through the board. I speak. Something pops in my mind. Hang on. Let me check something real quick. I say and I go for the light switches and try to turn them on. Nothing happens, just like I thought. Well, I guess it's a, a power brownout. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, I really hate power brownouts, honestly. It's so annoying. But hey, I guess saving power and uh, maintenance, so that makes sense. But still, I freaking hate it so much. <laughs> I turn to the girls. Alright, well, there's the problem. The power went out. Even the lights aren't working. Hey, called it. Why did the power go out though? I don't know, Noski. Did you hear all the freaking rain clouds outside? Yeah. Maybe because of the rain? I don't exactly know, but I can go and check. How? Oh, sorry. I smugly look at her face and say, I know where the school circuit breaker is. Circuit breaker is. It's probably just a fuse thing. So you're gonna go play with it yourself? Do you have any idea how dangerous that is? He says in a scolding manner. I played with it before. It's really nothing special. Continue to speak in my smug voice. Ah, uh, don't play around with electrical stuff, even if you don't know anything electrical, unless if you're an engineer. It's like, okay, I'm not gonna ask why you've been playing with the school with the school circuit breaker before, but I can't have one of my club members running around the school. Who knows how much trouble I'd get into if they found out you were touching that? And what if you got hurt by it? I'm saying no, so stay right there. Oh, come on. I frown. It'll take like five minutes, maybe less. All of us want to watch the movie, right? I mean, there. he's not wrong about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you're agreeing with him, Noski. Still no. Where are you going? She calls out to me. I turn to Monica. Look, just sit down. I'll go fix the power and you'll be alright here to make the movie ready until I return. Okay? Okay. I turn around again and continue walking to the door. I also want the things from you when I come back. I say as I get out of the room. Wow, he's okay. just flex on just flex on everyone. You wash. <laughs> He's like, you wash. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, let me go check on that circuit breaker. I need to go a few floors down first. After going down the stairs a bit, I get to the floor where the circuit breaker is. It's in the room straight down from me at the very end of the hallway. I begin walking down the hall at a steady pace. About a minute passes, and now I'm standing in front of the room. Then I quickly turn the door handle, and it opens. Like I thought, the door is not locked. You'd think they'd be more careful with stuff like this, right? No, they don't care. <laughs> oh, hmm. um, safety or something, unless if the um, the engineers or someone else didn't care. I, know, I feel like this. I feel like this is a setup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all set up. With that, I get in the room. Huh? I can see. It's just the uh, it's the corner and everything. Man, I can't see crap in here. I need some light. Out of habit, I press the light switch in a room. It takes me a few seconds to realize the power is down. Ugh, dummy. I take out my phone and turn on the flashlight. This is better. Now, where is that breaker box again? I look around with my flashlight and spot it. It's out of my reach, though. I need something to boost me up. I look around once again. There's an old plastic chair by the corner. Oh, joy. Set it up in front of the breaker and step onto it. Oh, there it is. I found it. I feel it begin to shake a little bit beneath me. It's probably one of those old rolling chairs. It'll be fine. I'll be fine. Alright, let's see. I direct 
my flashlight to where the fuse is, and... Yep, some switches are turned off. Yeah, I knew it. This old thing have a very loose cover panel, so something must have bumped into it and turned off the power. Turn the switches on, and the room lights turn back on. Well, that's a good sign. I just the... Whoa! Whoa! I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, yeah. Did we fell? Yep, we fell off the chair. Ouch. Alright. My head. Ouch. Crap. It really hurts. I can't believe I fell off that dang chair. What even happened? I... I stopped for a second to see that the room is all black again. Why, though? I just turned on the lights. Uh... Now I'm confused. Guess I have to take a look at the box again. I got up off the ground and step onto the chair again. I take out my phone to also turn on the flashlight again. But... Why is my phone not turning on? Uh... Please don't tell me a phone. Oh, no! That's, that's the, um, that's the worst one, breaking your foot, oh no, that's, that's pain, that's pain right there. Mm, I don't like this. <laughs> Me too. I can't even see if it is, so I'll have to turn this back, I have to turn this thing back on in complete darkness. I tried to fill the switch in my hand. After searching for after after searching for it for a bit, I feel the switch. It's facing up, so it should be on. Then why are there no lights? I play the switch a few times, but no, still no lights. Uh what do I do now? I'm really confused. I turned it back on and the lights came back as well, but now nothing. At this point I'm thinking about the possibility that I just broke Thing. Okay then. Mm. Love, I hope not. Yep. Either way, there's nothing I can do now. I guess I'll just go back and we all leave for the evening. Monica's gonna make fun of me for sure. Ah, uh, yes. Whatever. Yep. I guess that's what you get for flexing so much. Yeah. I know, right? Dumbo. The nerve. <laughs> yeah. I got off the chair and make sure I don't fall off it this time. I turn the door handle open and get out of the room. As I get out to the hallway to return to the club, I realize the hallway is a, a bit different. Maybe more than a little different. It's darker than before. Huh, there aren't any windows around. I could have sworn there were at least a couple. In fact, the hallway doesn't even look like the school hallway in the slightest. What the? Uh. Maybe I can see it well because it's really dark. When he hit his head, he got he dimension hopped to a different reality. Oh yeah, I guess it seems that we have uh, went into another territory that yeah. we weren't supposed to be in. You know a thing or two about that, right, Finn? Yeah, uh, I do, but I never seen places like this before. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, this place is starting to give me the chills and the creeps. faster as panic begins to, begins to kick in. I don't know where I am. What's going on? Alright, I'll just walk back to the way where I came from. With that, I turn right and begin walking. Although, I can't see the end of the hallway right now. I get that the school hallways are, are long, but they aren't this long. After walking for a minute, I still can't see the end of the corridor. Okay, now is the right time to begin freaking the freak out. <laughs> Oh no, maybe I should call for the girls? Yes, but please, your call for help. Your phone doesn't work though. Oh, I forgot, dang it. I'm not entirely sure if I broke it or not. <laughs> oh, my bad. Is that really a good idea though? I don't know, and I don't think logical thinking can be applied to this situation. Monica! I shout. I shout. Nothing back. Sayori! Nothing again. Yuri! Natsuki! Everyone! Where are you? My voice echoes down the hallway every time I shout, but there's no response back. Uh oh The shouting is somehow making me less worried, so I keep yelling into the seemingly empty hallways. Sayori! 
Say something if you can hear me. I swear I'll buy you something from the vending machine. Uh, <laughs> it was worth the shot. <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, the Sigma of calling in the cinnamon bun for food and she'll come right over. Brilliant. Yeah, it didn't work this time though. Yeah, unfortunately not, so. Monica, okay, you won. The lights are broken. Uh, and I'm also an idiot. Sorry for flexing. <laughs> no use. Nobody's answering me anyway. Although, it, at least it makes me feel a little bit more at ease. Yeah, How? That's right. <laughs> you put yourself How? In the wrong place. <laughs> Yuri, I realize that I don't like horror that much. What? <laughs> I know you don't want to read that novel with me, but it freaks me out. Oh, MC, I didn't know you were a coward. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the irony. I, I actually kind of like horror, especially with creepy bosses and urban legends. I like those kinds of things. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it's really interesting and uh, keeps me up sometimes at night. Well, <laughs> still. <laughs> I'm not scared, it just makes me interested. You know, it's all fascinating and all that stuff. Why do I even say stuff like this? Ugh. Can't care less right now. Oh, they I finally set up properly. Freaking out. <laughs> Natsuki! I think you're cute! <laughs> Not even that worked, huh? Ah, yes, the cute button. Call her cute, she gets angry. Mm, I know a thing or two about that. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting her to jump in front of me and say, yeah, I'm not cute or <laughs> Alas, I yo. Yes. Oh, we knew it. I, we, we, we already know her that much. <laughs> I mean, right. uh, I don't know where I'm going. Could this be unlike an endless loop or an endless void? I guess so. Uh, yeah. I just run. Ah! Someone! Something! Please answer me! Girls, what's going on? Is this a prank? Please tell me it's a prank. Ah! What? What oh. the... <laughs> that voice creeped me out. <gasps> I caught up my cries of fear in an instant when I finally hear something other than my racing heart and flurry of footsteps. The noises are somehow coming from behind me. I glance over my shoulder but don't see anything other than darkness. What the? Uh, hello? I come, we come in peace. We don't want any trouble. Holy crap. That's... What is that? certainly doesn't sound like any of the girls. What the frick, what the frick, what the frick. There goes my scream to make yourself feel better approach. I wanted something to hear me, yeah, but now I regret shouting all that much. Oh, oh no. I think it's coming for me. I look around in a panic to see if I can hide anywhere. Nothing. Nowhere to, nowhere at all to go. In a panic, I continue running down the hallway. As I do, I finally begin to see the end of it. The long corridor turns to the left and continues onwards. But it looks like there's another opening on the right side. Oh, okay. It's... our room? There's nothing inside. Like the corridor, there aren't any lights or any windows. There's only a few things scattered along the ground. Maybe I can use one of these as a weapon? Let's see if any of these are useful. I inspect the objects on the ground a little closer. A pen, a ruler, a screw... At least one do. Well, alright. I continue looking. A fork, a metal sheet. Hmm. It's a bit heavy too. This can be useful. What? What the? Oh, frick, it's getting closer. Maybe I can hide in a corner and hit it with this after it passes me. Oh yeah! Okay, I guess we can use the metal sheet as a shield. Yeah, yeah good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good plan. I take the metal sheet and wait in the corner. What? It's coming. Getting closer.
closer and closer. Get ready. Very close. I see a big shadowy figure walk past my left. It's as tall as me, but I cannot figure out what it looks like. Doesn't matter. After it walks away from me, I slowly approach it from the back and smash its top with the metal sheet in my hands. Oh! Oh, we got him! Or it. I don't know. The thing begins screaming in a way that makes my blood go cold, cold, cold. I can't contain the jitter of my hands. I think I heard it. Oh! Oh, blob! I hit it again. And again. And again. And again. It gets quieter as I repeatedly beat it to the ground. The noise has stopped. started. Just from a normal club day to this hellhole. Frick. Oh. What the? Okay, now this one sounds a little different. It's time to go before one of those things catch me. I raise my head from my palm and get up. Before leaving the room, I take the metal sheet with me. A good idea. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a shield, people. Fellow knights, everyone. <laughs> Begin running in the opposite direction from where I heard the screams. The fact that I don't know how to get out of this place is terrifying too, but at least I can get away from these, whatever they are, for just a little bit longer. Keep heading down the other way. How do they keep cutting me off so easily? I keep turning away from the noises I hear down the hall so often that I feel as if I'm just running in place. No matter which way I turn, I keep hearing them progressively get closer and closer. It's like they always find a way to get me. Or us. We can't unrun, unrun them. Uh, that's the true. Keep getting closer. Yeah. Closer. Closer. Go what? What is that? What is that thing? Hey, yo, what the? Oh, oh, we can hide the you up, okay. Um. Yes, we are stopped by some sort of blob looking thing okay i make an immediate stop as i spot a shadowy figure at the end of the hallway no i try to turn but leave and i try to turn and leave but i'm paralyzed as if i'm in shock at what my brain is trying to piece together what the the shadowy figure begins to move quickly almost darting from one end of the hallway of that eye, I find that it's gotten so close to me that I can smell its wretched breath. Mm. It's fast. Too fast. Faster than the one I killed. Dang. Frick. Frick. I need to move right now. I finally snap out of my trance and begin to bolt down the hall, away from the figure at full speed. That's right, gotta go supersonic spade. Yeah, gotta go fast. Yeah boy, gotta go fast. I can hear it closing the distance between Maybe if I keep going. As I continue running down the corridor, my shaking legs trip each trip trip over each other and I and we fall down face first. Oh no. Ouch. Ouch. Frick. Now I'm screwed. I tense up. Still lying on the ground, I slowly turn my face to look turn my face around to look at the thing. Whoa! <gasps> There's almost the same figure I saw before, but it's still too dark to figure out the details. Well, I guess it's just a, it's just a blob, slime thing, whatever it is. It's a creeper. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. even worse than a creeper unless if it explodes. <laughs> I All I know is that something not human is right in front of me. And I'm in danger. We're in danger! 
<laughs> the thing is slowly approaching us. Oh no. As we have no choice but to fight one of these again. I quickly look around me and I spot the sheet when I dropped when I fell. It's just a few centimeters away. I slowly extend one of my hands out and grab it. I need to land a solid hit with this one. Here we go. I swing the sheet with all of my force and hit the thing with the side of it. Oh, that's right, landing the hit. Mmm, okay. <laughs> the thing collapses onto its side. It doesn't make any noises. It just pops down. I guess that took care of it. One hit wonder, I suppose. Well, I guess you... Oh no, I guess I'm pretty sure this is the third one. What? Mm -hmm. Crap. More of those again? This time it felt like there were more voices, each one coming from a different spot. There must be multiple of them coming at once. Well, trying to run away didn't help, so maybe ambushing, am ambushing them once again would work. I take a quick glance around to see some open doors across the hallway. Those would could do. I quickly sneak over to the closet one and slip inside. Now all I gotta do is wait. They arrived at the scene I assume. Probably looking at the one I just killed. <laughs> Time to act. I slowly get out and approach them, just like what I did with the first one. I creep up closer and get in swinging distance. I take a deep breath and suspend a cracking hit on one of those things with my sheet. That's right, take that! <laughs> the other one screams as well. I continue attacking the first one while the other tries to escape. Oh, it's another hit. No. I can't get I can't let the thing get away. It'll probably call for call more for those. You know, I just had a thought. Huh? What if these are the girls? And he's killing the girls one by one. Said that, that would be. Oh. <laughs> oh no! If it is, then oh, I I can imagine. I keep my eyes on the escaping creature while I repeatedly and maliciously strike the first one over and over, making sure that none of it even can even twitch. After beating the first creature until it's gone limp, I begin rushing down the path of the other creature ready to continue defending myself. Turning the corner, I spot the thing and prepare to start dealing with it. It lets out a screeching wail, but this one sounds different from the screams the others let out when we were struck down. As I begin to close, to slowly close the gap between us, it ducks into a nearby room in the hallway. That makes my job easier. I follow after it and enter the room. Oh, we got your corner right now, boy. The monster stands in the corner as if it knows what I'm about to do and has accepted its fate. Maybe this one's a decoy, explaining why it's submitting so quickly. This things are already trickly, and who knows how dangerous can, they can really be. I don't want to leave anything around here to chance. This, these things, this whole place, it's all so alien to me. It's terrifying. Yeah, it is. It is, yeah. I still don't even know how we got how we got in here. Limbo, something, something. Yeah, it could be. Uh, I guess this one is way out of my dimensional travels, and this is a uh, way out of bounds. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh man. The only thing I know is that I want to get out. We gotta get out. We want to get out. Uh, right? <laughs> even if I'm scared like heck right now, even my pulse is off the charts. I gotta do what I have to survive. With that, I be I begin to slowly approach the thing once again. The only thing I can hear out of it is the sound of a weeping dog. 
Maybe it's actually. Who am I kidding? Am I trying to emphasize with this abomination? Even its silhouette is disgusting to look at. Well, we didn't want to go back. We didn't want any of this. My sanity vanishes second by second here. I just can't stand up the voices of these things anymore. Ah! I we let out a scream and charge at the carded creature. I hit it. Once. Twice. Thrice. Oh, it's slowly, okay, now it's slowly being pancaked. I hit it again and again. I think quickly stop screaming, but I don't. I just keep going. Don't stop! He's already, it's already dead. He says, stop, he's already dead. <laughs> Okay, now it's been pancaked. <laughs> Eventually I go silent. <laughs> my hands slow down to a crawl as I feel the splatters of some unknown liquid on my body weighing me down. I let go of the sheet and it drops down unceremoniously to the ground. Uh, now what? Still don't know how to get out. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, I guess we're stuck in this uh, this endless void together till it. Yeah, oh, yes, man. sir. At least we're together. Yeah, at least we're together. But who knows? Who knows if I, come, I might come up with a solution to get out of here soon. Are we going to die in here? Alone? What? Hey. Oh. <laughs> who could this be? I turn around after immediately after hearing a voice that's both unfamiliar yet completely rec recognizable. When I turn around, I see an unremarkable girl standing at the entrance of the room. Sayori, Monica, Yuri, Natsuki, anyone? She go. She gives us a small glow around her, letting me know that she's true. That she truly is human. Oh, I think love. Can argue that. Did you kill it? Her speech cuts off my train of thought. She points to the remains of the battered creature. Wait. What? I did, but why are you asking? Who even are you? Why are you here? I ask with confusion. I'm here to show you the exit. He answers me enthusiastically. The exit? Yes, the exit. Don't you want to get out of this place? Go back to somewhere safe? I... I do. My... our voice trembles. Then follow me. He leaves the room and starts running away. Ah, oh, thank goodness we're out of this endless void. Should we follow her? I guess we have no choice. Yeah, what's our... Even know who she is. Yeah. I was going to say, what's our alternative? I mean, yeah. It's either, one, we stay here and, well, do nothing, or I guess we have no choice but to follow her. So, I guess we'll, we'll just choose the latter. I don't even know who she is or what she's doing here, but for some reason I feel, I feel that I can trust her. I don't know why. Me, us either. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because she's the only human I've come across so far. Maybe it's something else. Honestly, I really want to see where she's taking me, or us. Maybe it'll actually be the exit. We can only hope. So let's pray and hope on this one. We don't want to be stuck in here forever. Hey, wait for me. In a rush of panic and desperation, I rush out of the room. I continue running until I catch up to her. Are you going to take me to the exit? Yep. Finally. Uh, I turn to the girl with the intention of asking more questions, but nothing comes out. Wait. Uh, excuse me, I just burped right there. Man. Excuse me. <laughs> My You're excused, sir. Thanks. Even though I had a lot of questions when I turned my head and, uh, when I turned my head over to her, it's just like I forget all of it. 
My own brain, my my own brain is trying to forget everything now. Whatever, let's just follow her. Oh, this is new. Got a white door at the end. Oh boy, I'm not entirely sure how this is going. After walking down the hallway with the girl for a while, I begin to see something at the end. It's a staircase going up. I can see the end of it. Oh, the staircase? I can see a little bit of, um, I, I don't know, see a, a little bit of, um... It doesn't look like a staircase to me. I'll be honest with you. I don't see yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't. I mean... Sure, it slopes up a little bit, and then there's a door, so I guess it kinda, kinda is. It seems to be going on forever. What? Well, we reach the very bottom of the stair of the staircase. While I inspect the stairs, the girls, the girl begins climbing them. I stop poking around and begin to follow behind, just as I've been before. Uh, we've been climbing the stairs for a good five minutes. My legs are screaming to me, telling me to stop. Yet I feel like I didn't move at all. But unlike me, the girl still, the girl still, is climbing the stairs very energetically. You remember that scene? Yeah. What scene? That scene in um, part three of JoJo when Paul and Ref is trying to go up the stairs in Dio's mansion, and he just keeps going back to the same step. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. <laughs> it's oh, like. Boy. As long as this, well, this floor, or I mean, on this, the stairs, or the girl doesn't pull up as the wardo on us to, you know, to be on an endless loop of us trying to get up. <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully not, because <laughs> we don't want to be stuck here. Which I had the same center. Yo! <gasps> we can see the end of the light. Continue, we begin to see a light that's coming closer. That should be the exit that the girl's talking about. Okay, we're pretty close. Oh, thank glob. She almost runs through the remaining stairs and goes into the beaming light. With the energy I have left within me, I climb the remaining steps and leave into the light. Yes. Thank goodness. <sighs> This is a sunset? So beautiful. When my eyes had finally adjusted the blinding light, I see a beautiful sunset. It's almost mesmerizing. It is. When I finally get out of the trance from the sunset, I take a long look around. I'm standing on a gray concrete floor that isn't even illuminated by the beautiful orange purple light. And I, I instinctively look at myself. Unlike the floor, sunlight reflects on me. It almost feels like the ground is separate from this whole place, and it definitely makes me feel weird. Although it's the least weird thing I come across here. I can see where the floor ends, it's not that big. But there are no walls or ceilings here, or not even guardrails. It's all open to the, to the air. The girl calls me over to the edge, directly facing the sunset. Oh, I know what's coming up. Oh, oh, yeah. I stop when I get near her. It's a few feet away from the edge, but I can't ex but I can't exactly see an exit. Before I turn to her to ask her a question, she speaks first. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Oh. I've seen this. this? I knew it. Uh, this was our guide. No, I'm just saying. No, I just remember seeing this picture before. <laughs> so now, now I actually know the context of this. Oh, I see, I see. Well, I kind of do, but <laughs> I can't seem to remember at the moment. Here we are. This is the exit. He points at the sun. Uh, what? Where do I go exactly? You just need to jump. Well, see, jumping is the motion where you bend your legs down and you thrust yourself up in an upward motion which you leave the ground and you stay in the air momentarily and let gravity bring you back down. That is what I mean by the oh. word jump. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh. The 
The only exit from this place is... <laughs> the only exit from this place is by jumping down. Jump, jump down. I'm not entirely sure if that's a good idea, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, we'll see about that one. <laughs> I peek over the edge and look down. No ground is visible. It's all covered with clouds and fog. From here, I turn and I turned in to her again and asked, confused. Yep, oh. from here. Here's you to jump, and you'll be free. Why are you here then? I asked with curiosity. Like I said, I'm here to show you the exit. I mean, why do you stay here if you know where the exit is? This is not a place to stay, it's just, it's all just obscure. My job is to show the exit for people who stranded here, like you. After all, you can't escape the darkness without a guide. Oh, I see. She brightly smiles at me. Uh, thank you, whoever you are. Um, it's a great help. I, I, I'm glad we, we picked the ladder on following her. Ah, good idea. Good idea. <laughs> we would have been there for like... For, for an endless void or limbo right now if we hadn't. Well, I guess she's telling the truth. And what other choices we have? Nothing made this made sense in this place anyway. Like a cursed egg hole. If jumping from here is my only exit, then I'll jump. Don't forget your uh, emergency parachute if you have one. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Or just uh, use a water bucket. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Much better than a parachute, I'd say. I turn my head and face the sunset one last time before jumping from the edge. While taking the long fall down through the clouds, I fixate my eyes on the setting sun. I haven't seen a sunset this beautiful in my life before. Huh. It's nice. It's nice to see a sunset. Just like that. Huh. Credits roll. Hey. Wow. Writer and director. Semstatic. Mm. Semstatic. I don't know. It's a gem. Yeah. Coder. Oh. Also gem. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Art. Jim said it. And fit, of course. Well, fit help with fit help with the clouds and some of the shading, but the girl was Jim's drawing. Oh, nice! Did a good job on it. Science from static. Flasium as for the music and you know, you know, Flasium is the de facto music guy. Fit does so much, man. He's, he's, he's honestly one of the hardest working people I know. Yeah, he is. He's so hard, of course. Um, proud of him. Proud of our boy, Fit. Of course, the rest of VA as well. They've outdid themselves with all these mods. What the? New light. Five high school students found dead? Let's see, they found what? dead on the ground after one of the parents of the victims contacted authorities about their parents with children gone missing. After children contacted their parents, the other teens with the last seen missing high schooler. The other parents discovered they couldn't reach their children, thus the search of five missing students were called immediately. Upon searching all night, police found their bodies in the school building. They were mutilated beyond recognition, with multiple broken bones and splattered organs. Shock, police stated, um, started an investigation on the cause of the horrifying murders that took the lives of five innocent high schoolers. 
I told you he murdered them. Uh, oh, murdered? Oh, I see. And oh, the title screen. Also, I see today's date is September is December twenty second, which is a nice touch because that's when the mod came out. So that's a nice touch. Oh, and wow. now we finally get a title screen, dang. Yeah. Day nine. We're only a few days away. Oh, right, fellow viewers, we'll see you on day nine. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to both Finn and myself if you want to see more quality content. channel i uh, hope, hope you'll have a good time over there and yeah and also um check out killing as well he's cool so <laughs> just the reason why you're watching this right now he's like yeah he's cool i guess i mean whatever it's not as cool as me <laughs> but <laughs> yeah i mean oh. well, i'd say we're both cool <laughs> i know i'm just messing with you <laughs> I all right well you know link is in, <laughs> link to the download link for the model will be in the description and links to our respective Discord servers will also be in the description. So be sure to keep a lookout for that. Anyway, goodbye everyone. Stay awesome and have fun, fellow Knights and viewers. <laughs>